that I hate him as much. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that too. I didn't want to admit it, so I'm glad you said it and not me. I didn't want to admit that part, but the the part about retiring, it's like, yo, he's a maniac. He's like Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? Like. You're now watching a clip from the Mark West Sports Podcast. Going on, like, bumble returns, touchdowns, pick, pick sixes. It was just it was a crazy have game. A game just like that. Hopefully we get a Super Bowl <laughs> like that because last year was kind of boring. I didn't even remember it, you know. I, I, I literally didn't remember the team that Tom Brady beat, you know. I was like, who did they even play? Yeah, it was KC, but I don't remember the Super Bowl. I don't remember what happened, what was the drama, you know? I actually remember the drama shit. with Kansas City, San Francisco, because San Francisco was up, and Patrick Mahomes led them back to win. I remember that one, which was the year before, but I had no idea what, what went on. So yeah. so we got the Rams and KC. You want to pick now or we wait? I mean, Yeah, we might as well wait because we got two weeks. Yeah, we will we'll wait because we know the game. outcome of this well. week, but yeah. I mean, regardless of the fact, I think it's, it's out with the old and in with the new. I mean, there's rumblings that Tom Brady's probably going to retire. You know, you got Ben Roethlisberger. I don't think he's going to retire, to be honest. He, if he do, if he don't, I don't want to see him no Because I've seen the documentary. I watched the shit. Because, like I said, my, my lady is from Boston, and she was like, oh, I want to watch it. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is probably a way to bond. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's actually a football documentary. You want right, to watch right, it? We'll watch <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're like, why not? Okay, what, okay whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I watched it and I was just like, all right, you know, like this dude, he's on some, like, really some natural type vibe right now. Like, what we be on? And you started with the eating, eating and, like, the, ex, the, you the know, hating that you And I'm just you like, damn, okay, gone. I don't think. That He's I hate him retired. as much. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that too. I didn't want to admit it, so I'm glad you said it and not me. <laughs> I didn't want to admit that part, but the the part about retiring, it's like. Yo, he's a maniac. He's like Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? Like I was listening to an interview with, with um uh, that uh, uh reporter had with with Tom, with uh Kobe Bryant, and I was just like, yo, dude is a maniac because he was saying like, yeah, I wake up at like 5 a.m. You know, every day. You know, and then the show is in the morning and he was like yeah this show is like at eight like what have you done since five and he was like oh you know just you know been working out i already did got a little you know weight workout in you know mm -hmm. i jogged around a little bit you know and i was like spent some time with the kids and i was like i was like damn you did all of the, all of that before eight o'clock <laughs> i was like damn like this dude is like a maniac some of these really successful people in sports, like in, in anything, pretty much. It's like the maniacs are what they do. And like Tom Brady and Kobe Bryant, I think are, are cut from the same cloth. And I don't see him retiring yet because I think Kobe Bryant retired because I felt like he finally realized there was a drop in his production in that last year. And he he couldn't really help his team win anymore. And Tom Brady, I think, feels he can still help his team win. It's not about that no more. Because he almost did. It's not about if his that no defense more. would would just stop them look, for man. like not getting the bomb with Cooper Cup, look, look, look they would have went into overtime in that game. I agree. But happy a happy spouse, happy house. His <laughs> wife is tired of seeing him get hit. She said that. His kids are getting older, so it's time to bond with them now. So even though you feel like you can go ahead and do this right now, me as your wife, the mother of your children that's older now, that understands, it's time to bond with their ass before they get the hell up out this crib. <laughs> yeah. It's time for us to really spend time with each other while we're young. Still, you're old, but you're young. You're old if you're talking about sports. You're young still because she's a supermodel. She's not a supermodel no more because she's not 20. You're not Tom Brady, G. Golly, Wiz of 
the early 2000s. <laughs> and your kids are older. It is time to spend time with them. And it's time to move on and go on to your next side of your legacy before it's too late. Because this is a time where a lot of people are transitioning. You got Brandon Marshall, Chad Johnson, all these individuals, you know, with their own podcasts and this, that, and the other. You feel what I'm saying? It's time for the diff. You got the Peyton Mannings and his brother. They got their own little vibe. It's time for you to make that play now before these individuals that played with you get really uh they already in front of you right now but because you're the goat supposedly everybody's gonna gravitate to whatever you got going on no matter if they started a year or two years before you so you need to do this now spend time with your kids come to the crib beat this thing down sometimes because there's some cobwebs down there <laughs> you feel me and it's time to just relax and spend this money that we got. So I understand what you're saying. He still got that fire in his butt. He still could do this, that, and the other. But it ain't about him no more. It is not about him no more. I know this now because I got a kid now. It ain't nothing about me no more. You know what I'm saying? It's walking the dog, worrying about him. <laughs> and if I get a chance to do something that I want to do, that's what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now he got that opportunity. And I think that, look, Giselle ain't playing no more. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, come on, man. It's over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you won a ring last year. It is what it is. You you seen the documentary already. It's just yeah. like with John L. Uh, 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 um, John Madden. You got a documentary, he dies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got a documentary, he your retires. career is over. You feel <laughs> me? And that's how it's going to go. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Damn. Uh, you just put that in perspective. So maybe he is going to retire. Maybe he is, but I don't know. I think he'll stay one more year. Bro, I don't want to see him no more. I know I you don't want to see him, see no, him more. no more. I'm, I'm done. I mean, you, I'm like, come on, man. Like, I'm done. But what else we got, though? 